Hello, and thank you for watching this video on how to create and get onboarded with your Cloaked account. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create a Cloaked account and finalize your onboarding. You're going to want to go ahead and create a username as well as a strong password. Make sure that your password is memorable, as this will be extremely important for accessing your account later. You're also going to want to associate a recovery email address. When you create your account, we will spin up for you a personalized database. This database is the only database that contains your information, and it's the only way that anyone, including yourself, will be able to access information. When you first create your cloaked account, you will be prompted with some initial tasks to help you better understand cloaked and its power. You will want to generate an email, but the next and most important piece is your recovery kit. Your recovery kit is extremely important because it is the only tool that can be used to access your account if you do not have your password. You will be prompted to download your kit upon creating your account, but I will also show you how you can access in case you later lose it, but do have your password. When you download your kit, you will see that by default, it will be downloaded into your downloads folder. This recovery kit right now is in the form of a PDF that contains your recovery key. As mentioned, all of your data lives in this one secure database and is entirely encrypted. The only keys that can unencrypt this data are your personal password or this recovery key. If you forget your password and you do not have your recovery key, your data will be impossible to decrypt by us or by anyone. As such, it's important you put it somewhere secure. As I mentioned, by default, this place will likely be in your downloads, but you may want to go ahead and create a new super secure location where you can go ahead and place this recovery passphrase and say, I will never forget this. Great. Now that you have your recovery key, you are ready to move on to utilizing Cloaked itself. The first thing you should do is verify your email. Up here, we have this little tooltip that tells us how to verify our email, but there are some other places where we can go to verify our email, so we'll show you that as well. If you go into Account and Settings, and you go into Account Recovery, you will be able to add a recovery email. Here we can add the same recovery email address that we would have been prompted to earlier, and we can continue. From there, a verification code will be sent to our email. If we go look at John Smith's email, we'll see that an email has just popped up asking us to verify our account. When we look into this email, we'll see our registration code has been exactly provided. We can go ahead and copy this uh, and then paste it in here. And once we've pasted it, we've verified our recovery email address. This is an important tool, both for you and for Cloak support to be able to help uh, with any issues, as well as another key piece of the way that we like for people to utilize Cloaked. And that is that a recovery email can be utilized to forward individual emails from a Cloaked account to your personal account. This can be done in the forwarding section. So what is communication forwarding? Communication forwarding is a setting that can be toggled on that makes calls, emails, or texts sent to any one of your cloaked identities forward to any email or phone number that you have verified for your account. So right now you can see that by default, forwarding is turned off, and any communications will be stored within the cloaked app or dashboard. You can turn on email forwarding here and select your recovery email address, in this instance, John Smith's email, to be the email for communications to be forwarded. We will later show you how this works to show us every single email that comes into John Smith's cloaked identity in his existing personal inbox. We will also show you in future videos how to set this up for phone calls and text messages. The next thing that we're going to do before we show you how to create any cloaks is download and pin the browser extension. This is the last piece of the puzzle to make cloaked the most powerful tool that you can use. If you come up here to your username and then click on download extension, you'll be directed directly to the web store that contains the extension. You're going to click add to Chrome and then add the extension to your Chrome. When you do so, you'll have to wait a couple moments and then boom, you'll be asked to re-log in to confirm the extension and you will be prompted to pin the extension. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our extensions and we're going to go ahead and pin it. By pinning the extension, it will always show up here, and it will allow us to easily access our extension. So now we need to go back and enter our username, as well as our password. Which will log us back into our account. Okay. 
now that we are logged back into our account, we can go ahead and create some identities. The first way that we want to show you how to create an identity is using this extension on a given website. So we're going to close some of our tabs, uh, and we're going to go ahead and open target.com. While this will work on basically any website, we want to show you a specific example so you can understand how the cloaked extension can be used to create your first cloaked identity. If you click on sign in, you may already have a target account, but if you do not, you can go ahead and create an account. As you can see, the cloaked extension will prompt you over here on the right side. It will show up as gray because you do not yet have an account, but it will prompt you to be able to generate as many fields as you'd like. You can either generate an email or you can generate all fields. And this is where the magic happens. If you click generate all fields, immediately cloaked will create a new identity for you called target by default that has an email, a phone number, and a password. Everything that you'll need to create a target account rooted, routed to your personal communications that does not give up any of your personal information. So if I want them to know who I am, I can go in and say, hi, my name is John Smith. But if I'm a little more privacy minded, maybe I don't want them to know that. Maybe my name is Smith John. Maybe my name is Smith Stevens. Maybe my name is Roger Stevens. Either way, they won't know. All they'll know is my cloaked information, and that's all I need to give up. So whether or not I want to be signed in, I can go ahead and create an account. When I create this account and save this identity, it will tell me that it's sent a mobile code to my phone number. I don't have a phone number ending in 8905, and neither does John, but Cloak does. So this confirmation code comes right into this modal, and I can just copy it and paste it right in. I've gone ahead and verified it, and boom, I've created a target account. I can join target circle, I can skip this, I can see emails that are continuing to be sent directly to me. And if I go back to my identities, we can see that I have my target account. If I want to see communications that Target has sent to me, I can go in and look at my inbox. I can see the verification code that was initially sent as a text message, uh, and then I can see the email confirming that this mobile number has been added. This is extremely powerful because now I know not only that Target has tried to reach me, but they've tried to reach me exactly at my Target cloaked identity. If at any point in the future someone else tries to reach out to this email and they aren't Target, I will know that Target has either given my information to someone else, or someone has taken it from them maliciously. From there, I have complete authority to take any action that I want. If I want to go ahead and delete the identity entirely, no one can ever reach this information again. I have completely eliminated it from existence. If I want to go ahead and open the communication settings, I can decide who is allowed to reach this email. I can decide whether or not to forward them. With cloaked identities, you have complete control over who can and cannot reach you at any given point in time. The cherry on top is that if you don't want to do your communication through the cloaked dashboard, you don't have to. Because forwarding was set on by default, when I created my Target account, you'll see that all of these communications from Target have been sent to my personal email. Or, in this instance, John's personal email. Now, because John has forwarding on, he can get these, he can see that they're from the target cloak, and if he wants, he can respond directly. You'll notice that when John responds, the recipient of the email is actually a cloaked identity. This is because cloaked provides two-way routing. Even if your recipient is not on cloaked, your email will be cloaked from them, so you communicate through us. When John sends this email, it will be routed through cloaked servers, and it will show up on the other end as being from depth.loose.stay at cloaked.id, not from John Smith 0621191 at gmail.com. The purpose of this and other tools that we provide is to allow you to start cloaking your personal information without needing to change any of your existing workflows. Cloaked also offers a similar set of tools utilized on your mobile phone that we will explain in future videos. For now, I think we've covered enough. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit about how to get set up with your Cloaked account.